this job. It's supposed to be a three quarter. They actually put a seven eighths elbow right over it and they soldered it. it. Should be a three quarter swedge. Should have a three quarter by half, three quarter by seven eighths ninety. They put a seven eighths ninety right over it. And it looks like they cooked this. Cooked this king valve. Let's see. straight is leaking by. I got a leak upstairs. I found a leak in the evaporator upstairs. This is a rud unit. Mm, it must be leaking from that giant somewhere. Oh, it looks good. is leaking. Cap seems to be fine. I put some nylog on it. Change those straight. Suckers leaking. Is that a bad leak? Valve was definitely leaking in the suction line. Put some gas in it. And also, I found a leak up in the evaporator. Brought a cheaper pen seer. It's a 42, it's a 3.5 ton. So I'm going to have to see if I can get a coil for the upstairs unit. If not, I might have to change the whole air handler. Strictly AC over here, no heat pumps. I don't even see this though. Look at the way the guy started this. The 7 8 elbow right over the 3 quarter flare. Where it should go right into the three-quarter switch. Unbelievable. 
But I checked the hood, it's not leaking. I checked it with um, soul bubble, the sniffle. My leak was coming from the Schrader, which I just changed. Got my little handy Schrader. Oh, I leave it in my bag here, it's a little Richie. Yellow jacket. Just leave it right in my bag here if I want to change Schrader's. It's gonna take a little bit to charge this baby. Probably about 80 degrees out. Got another can. Running low here. Gonna warm it up. I got a heat gun. I might get that and heat this thing up a little bit. Me on my charge. We're putting gas in it. I don't know this liquid. So I have this little sight glass here so I can see what's going on if I'm putting liquid in and what the story is. Finally, a little bit at a time. And my Cooper here. This does wet bulb and humidity also. Oh yeah, let's plug this baby in. It's got a probe setting right here, and it's got two thermostats. And this, this, I got one here. I put on my suction line, and one on the liquid line. If I want to check it, I just push the button, boom, for number two. It's one. Still not coming back. Not yet. Oh, I'm at 58. 80 degrees outside. 58. Looking for 53. Suction line, liquid line, 95, 105, so that's 10. 10 degrees sub cool. And the superheat is uh, 22. Up and running. I just got a price on this guy's coil, uh, evaporator coil. I'm going to give him a price on changing it, swapping it out. Definitely got a bad leak up there. I wasn't able to record that because he was watching me, but... Hopefully I get another job here. This coil replacement, get this thing fixed for this guy. We got a lot of these rod achievers up here, 10 seer. I like them because, you know, the compressor's on the outside here. Fans on the inside. You don't have to work on anything, it makes life a lot easier. shut basically keep all the AC right inside the compartment here can't see when I'm backing up so that's why I got this camera see what's behind me so I don't back into nobody I can turn that off and on at will I just turn it on if I'm backing up I don't need to crash into nobody that's yeah, probably about I don't know, 80 to 75, 80 degrees here. Beautiful day. Just gave that guy a price on changing that coil out. Let's see what he says. He's gonna talk to his wife. Isn't that what they all say? We'll see what happens. But luckily I was able to find one for a 10 seer. So they have them in the factory. Warming up here. I'm gonna get busy. Ten miles to the gallon. 
not bad for a seven, seven ton truck. That's the average, 10 miles diesel. 14,500 pounds, basically what I'm weighing at the scale. I got it maxed out. Seven tons. Shit, you guys with pickup trucks are probably getting worse mileage than that. Driving around in pickup trucks. Alright, let's see if we might get some more calls come in today. I'm just here checking my air conditioner on my truck. Checking the Delta T. Basically, I got a the mister in the back and one in the front here. This one's number one. Coming out about 60 degrees. I'm going in about, let's say 80, 78. So if I'm going in 78, coming out at 60, that's an 18 degree Delta T. It cools this off nice. I got this little door here. I can shut it. Well, basically, I'm just cooling off this cab. I got my little shade here. In case it gets sunny, I just pull the shade down. Come on, it goes right up. It's a nice little thing. Especially with this, these high windows on this truck, what happens is the sun comes in. If you're going down a highway, it'll blind you. So I can pull this down. Felt pretty good. I put this AC in my truck last year. I just got this truck probably last July, so definitely my old truck's in the front over there. You can probably see it. I've had that for like 16 years. Never had air conditioning. But I said when I got my new, my new truck, I think blew the motor, the chassis was starting to rot away, it wasn't worth fixing, so I got myself a new one. I put the AC in it. Main lines. Um, mounted the compressor. This truck didn't never came with air conditioning. Put an evaporator, with fans in the front. You see, I got the control board up there. It's nice to have air conditioning in that truck, especially if it's hot out. You know. We're at 59, so it's not bad. It definitely cools off. system. Yeah, works out pretty good. 